all this stuff. Juggling oranges? Fake arrow, fake dagger. Reginald's diary. Fortune! I'm gonna take all this random stuff. We'll sell it, I don't know. Are there any containers down here? No. Okay, first of all, let's read all this stuff. Now, if I learn a recipe, does everyone in the team learn it? Um, I'm hoping so. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a lot of recipes, so I'm hoping that's how it works. I want to make sure we've read everything. Does it, does it say if things have been read or not? It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. Looks like the mortician is rather suspicious about Jake. What could Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn have to do with it? Hmm. Talking head. Okay. Now, which one? Reginald's diary was the one we were looking at. It insists his name is Nick, but I think I'll call it Stefan. Now, there's a name with the flair of a showman about it. Wouldn't luck have it, the curio knows a story or two already, and what a voice. My show will be the most profitable at the fair. I fairly bulge with joy, Giggity, when I think of the sad sack look on Cedric's face. Hmm, okay. Oh, you have to open each page to learn the rest of the recipes? Oh, okay. So you have to actually go to the other pages. Oh, that one didn't. That one didn't. Okay, so I guess those didn't, but we'll keep an eye on that in the future. Oh! Oh, hell yeah! So that's how you rest in this game. Okay, great. Beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and get her All right, perfect. All right, let's go check out this murder scene. Wait, whose house is this? Oh, this is Evelyn's home. We can't get in here, can we? Nope. Okay. To the crime scene, which is oh, right in front of us. Perfect. How do we get in this building? Wow. Is that all one building? Let's go over here. It's a huge building. Oh, I know we can destroy knock doors and stuff. We, we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah. First, we'll explore the town, do everything we you know we need to, do all the main quests and stuff, and then once we kind of have a good idea where all the story sections are, then we'll uh, we'll go back through and pretty much loop the place dry. Yeah. Heal Jolly with a 1250. What out of web subs? Unpossible. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. White Firebirds is still Siberian with the new sub. Morning White Chicken Nugger. Uh, Nerdly Haxer and Hordesman, thank you so much for your support, guys. Really do appreciate it. And of course, good, good show, show to, to all, all of you friends. friends. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, quick question, guys. Do different vendors buy items for different prices? Like, do I want to sell a sword to a blacksmith? And not an innkeeper? Um... How, how can I just sell everything to everyone? You there. A moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero the whole of Sicil is a buzz about. 
the talk of the town, the juiciest grape on the grapevine. Hmm. Such a pleasure to meet you. A delight. Prices depend on their attitude towards you. Okay. Okay. So we want to we want to sell to people that like us. Okay. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot, so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. Okay, and you are? Mendius, at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what it used to be, and that is a man of medicine. But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I save lives, to be sure, but today, I change them. About that opportunity you mentioned. Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first of hey, all, Zan let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? Of course I do! How could someone in my profession not? Of course I do. How could someone in my profession not? Quite right. Adventure is what we live for. See here. You and I share the same passion. Where's this guy going? I never doubted it for a moment. The thrill of walking the unbeaten path. The rush of finding yourself in a goblin ambush. Knowing you'll prevail nonetheless. Hmm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Maybe. Uh, you know what? Lena likes money, Ko doesn't. The riches do not interest me much, actually. Really? I wouldn't mind earning an extra penny here and there. <laughs> well, don't quarrel about it on my account. Still, if a matter is divisive, it is divisive mainly because it is alluring. And riches are so very alluring. I agree, JC Wyman. Everything about this guy screams snake oil salesman. Absolutely. So ideally you sell to someone who you have a good attitude with and there are certain NPCs with good inventories that you later want to come back to. So ideally, you level your reputation with them. Okay. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety? Without spice? Okay, dude, what are you selling? Um, there's no shame in following directives if your masters are worthy of your trust. There is no shame in following directives if your masters are worthy of your trust. True enough. We serve a just cause, so why wouldn't we follow our orders? Come. I refuse to believe such a uniquely skilled individual would settle for a puppet's role. Dude, what is your point? And that is exactly why I am here. Here we go. My fate has put me right by the door to the King Crab, so that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous five. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. The fabulous five? <sighs> The fabulous five. How I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurers guild in Riverlong. Our mission, to better the world. Our mantra, to better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And you can. Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? So what is it that members of the Fabulous Five actually do? What a gem of a question. Straight as an arrow. Sharp as a switchblade. Most merit. Now, to join the Fabulous Five is to join a fellowship. 
to join a fraternity, a sorority, a community. <laughs> the title of a knight <laughs> is bestowed upon you the moment you sign our Thanks, waiver, Rin. and so it all begins. I shall be the one to give you your first contract, and once the job is done, I shall see to it you get your fair share of the reward. Huh. Of course, should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel of the fabulous five and thereby draw new knights into our fellowship? This is totally a pyramid scheme. Share of the reward from their contracts too. Isn't that wonderful? This is like an a, an, a medieval pyramid By scheme. Now the genial glow of the fellowship must have warmed your heart. It has, hasn't it? But did I say fellowship? I mean family. For like a family, <laughs> we support one another cheer one another, see each other through thick and thin, partake in glory and defeat. Work hard, fulfill contracts, enlist new knights, and swiftly shall you rise through Let's the Let's change the subject. You will better yourself. You're not worried you about the undead out and about? Along. They call the undead a problem, my friend, but those who know the ways of the fabulous five seem... I I'm leaving. Yeah, we're not going to enlist with him right now. Maybe later, but not right now. Oh, everything's stealing in here. Okay. Boop! Hey, stop that! Okay, um... I hope we saved recently. How far ago is this? Wait, where is that? Uh, hold on. Okay, so that's something that we're going to need to be very attentive of. Uh, I didn't know that it would move after the sneak. Oh, that loaded that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. I think this is back in that other guy's house, which is a little bit far away. I'm just going to carry on, I think. Oh, this is back up at our room. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely going to do this. Cool. Glad we saved first. Is this like Call of Duty? Yeah, this is this is basically the new Call of Duty. Yeah. That doesn't belong to us, you know. You're right, it doesn't. Sometimes I get a little overzealous while I'm on the job. You're right, it doesn't. Sometimes I get a little overzealous while I'm on the job. Happens to the best of us. More than a few temptations accompany authority, you know? Cool. Uh oh. Never saw you in the king crab before. You're welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. Who are you, unsinkable Sam? I am unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the King Crab's foremost patron ever since. Tell me about the ship you were on. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. Hmm. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle. I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. But I was alive, and that was more than anybody else could say. You were the only survivor? So I was. What friends I had, they drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. Life, milk and fish are plenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. By all means. <laughs> That's great. Uh, what's your take on the undead? People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. 
They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk, though. But still, I do test them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. Can you tell me more about the orcs? Oh, don't mention orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank Walrus Willie's boat right from under him. Best anchovy fisher in the world he was. A loss to us all. About Maxine. Maxine. The mayor's darling pet. So gentle. So fair a feline. The grace of her whiskers, the subtle palette of dyes in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. She likes me. I, I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. I I've serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. But for some reason, she is not to be swayed. Now we gotta talk to her, of course. I am a duke, you potato-eating peasant. Who are you? Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't uh, have. Like I don't know who you are yet. Captain Aureus before you. No. Let's let's check out the crime scene first. I have no idea who that dude is. He should be so lucky as to be defeated by Alistair the Great. They say he's privy to ancient and arcane wow. secrets. The likes of which I doubt you could even fathom, old friend. Jeez, all right, won't be sneaking there, I guess. We've got Anna. Alistair? Oh, everyone's attitude is minus five because I screwed that up? Oh, that sucks. Can I, like, buy a round for everyone? Is there a barkeep here? Oh, dude, everyone doesn't like me now. Oh, that's a bummer, man. Ah, too welcome to the King Crab Inn, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat and stay a while. Do you have any work for a trio of sailors? Three hopeless sailors? Truly wish I could help you, but I'm barely keeping afloat as it is. Hmm. So, uh, how can I raise my reputation with these guys? The name's Ivad. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've been offering the weary travelers of Sicile drink and rest for nearly two decades now. But the king crab's older than that by a long shot. All you see before you is the manifestation of my great grandpappy Horatius Dungeness's noble vision. Beer and hey, Palace of Doubt. everyone. No questions asked. Hmm. How's business? Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the uh, incident. But with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems a crab may just come out of that pinch. Hmm. What do you know about Jake's murder? Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. Tell me about the night of the murder. That room where it happened. It, it was rented to a certain woman. Though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. Hmm. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a, a certain Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at the same. Hmm. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window, but I saw nearly a soul when I looked out. You can bet I tailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. Do you suspect anyone? Councillor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Ferrell, a high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. 
Well, there we go. I'll what take my leave. What happened to that troop of eager imbeciles we sent to the northern cave? Do I Home, mm. my good man. Drink, if you please. Greetings, source hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. What are you doing, little man? What, what is your primary function? You just hanging out under my chair? You got stuff in your eye. There you go. <laughs> hey, Giopi, how you doing, man? By the way, Altair0608 with the 13 months. He says, over a year already. Keep it up. Thanks, man. And Dead Megatron says, hey, Code, don't you get tired of being so awesome over and over again? Thank you, Dead Megatron. <laughs> Appreciate your five months, dude. Thank you very much, guys. 